Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel which is Ruben Poon Coaching. So I talk about all kinds of fun strengths finder coaching things, leadership, team building, management, you name it. Essentially what I wanna do is help you unlock your maximum potential. And today the way that we are going to do that is we are talking about the 16 things that great managers focus on. Another way to put this is that great managers focus on engaging their employees. Employee engagement. This is something that Gallup has studied extensively and they found that there are 16 things or indicators that of an engaged employee. Now, why do you even want an engaged employee? Well, there are four reasons for that. The four reasons is that you will see increased profit, productivity, a decrease in turnover, and an increase in customer satisfaction. So there's a few more things, but those are kind of the basics of why you want to focus on employee engagement. So now that you know why you want to focus on employee engagement, let's actually talk about what those are. There are 16 indicators of an engaged employee, and they kind of go like a pyramid, you know, like that. Um, but here's where we're gonna start. This is what do I get as an employee? These are the basic needs that all employees need. So the first question, this is kind of called Q1 in the kind of originally called Q12 employee engagement survey from Gallup is, do I know what is expected of me at work? Then number two is, Q2 is, do I have the materials and equipment I need to do my work right? So these are the two basic needs questions that fall into the what do I get kind of category. The next category is what do I give as an employee? This is the individual contribution category. So this one starts, this is Q3, is at work, do I have the opportunity to do what I do best every day? Then Q4 is, in the last seven days, have I received recognition or praise for doing good work? Q5 is, does my supervisor or someone at work seem to care about me as a person? Then Q6 is, is there someone at work who encourages my development? Okay, so these are the, what do I give category or the individual contribution category. Then moving on, the next category is, do I belong here? This is the team contribution portion. So the first question is Q7, at work, do my opinions seem to count? Q8 is does the mission and purpose of my company make, my feel, make me feel my job is important? Then Q9 is are my coworkers committed to doing quality work? Q10 is do I have a best friend at work? These are the Keep contribution questions that ask, that get to the heart of, do I belong here? Then the next section is the how do we all grow section, the growth section. And these two questions is Q11 is, in the last six months, has someone at work talked to me about my progress? Then Q12 is, this last year, have I had opportunities at work to learn and grow? Those are the original Q12 questions that Gallup found for employee engagement. Gallup also found that you need to focus on the first questions first. So you wanna focus on the basic needs questions, number one and two, before you get to any of the higher ones, especially like 11 or 12. So you wanna start focusing on the basic needs questions, number one and two, and then you move on to three, four, five, and six. This is the area that you wanna focus on as a manager, and then you can move on to the next series. So this is kinda of like the Maslow hierarchy of needs if you think about it that way. Now, after the pandemic, Gallup also found some additional needs for hybrid and remote employees in addition to normal employees, so kind of coming into work employees. So these are the additional needs of employees. This is Q13 is at work, I am treated with respect. Q14 is my organization cares about my overall well-being. Q15 is I have received meaningful feedback in the last week. Then finally, Q16 is my organization always delivers on the promise we make to customers. So those are the 16 
levers or indicators of an engaged employee. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, hit that subscribe button, follow along so that you can uh, see more videos as I put them out about things. So the next series we're going to talk about is actually on team building and the kind of five traits of high performing teams. So make sure you subscribed and I will see you for that.